which 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 scene of each of yours do you think was most iconic? You know, the one that people will remember most for your character. I mean, I think in terms of just one of the key scenes in Game of Thrones, it's got to be the push out the window. I mean, that is the thing. That is actually what David and Dan said in their speech. They said that was the moment we knew this was going to be, you know, a big show when, when you know, that first initial massive cliffhanger of a 10-year-old being murdered. Um, yeah, I think that's a pretty key... And, and that's kind of what sets up a huge amount of the sort of falling domino effect. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool to be part of that. Uh, I liked his explanation of where he came from when he was opening the box with Tyrion. That was pretty iconic. And that was a good he, one. You know, he said, so a huge, big, long monologue of where he came from and wh wh why he was where he was. Because he was such a mystery up until that point, too. Yeah, he was an interesting character because so much of what you heard about him was by people who didn't like him and didn't trust him. Yeah. So I always knew if they were real fans because of the show, because if they watched it, they knew it wasn't that black and white. But if they, if anybody went up and went, oh, you're sneaky, you'd go, you haven't watched it. <laughs> Uh, the you so don't know what's going on. Yeah. The scene last season with Danny too, that was... Yeah, yeah, but she's brilliant. So, I mean, you had so many good scenes with so many good actors so, over the years, like yeah. Diana Rigg and Charles Dance and all of them, and you had to... Excellent, so no. Yeah, no. Um, so what do you think your most iconic scene was? Iconic. Hashtag. Iconic. Yeah. Iconic, iconic, iconic. It was pretty iconic, killing. Killing Littlefinger. LF. Yeah, LF. That, I think that was, for Sansa, definitely her most iconic yeah. scene. Yeah. What's your, do you think that's yours as well? I mean, yeah, it's pretty special. Because also the nice thing about that is like it's the one time that Arya is, she obviously she's killing for herself, but it's like, <laughs> It's not about, um, it's not like full of hate and like revenge. Like, you know, they're sometimes so sadistic and it's like you, when your hero takes it too far, you know, like when John's beating, um, what's his name? Ramsey. Ramsey, you know, and you like, just take it a bit far and it comes from this place of like, just not a good place. Yeah. And it's like the first time that Arya was just like, get the job done. Like, and I, I kind of like that, you know, it's like using her power for good. Yeah. Oh. Killing the White Walker for Sam, certainly, because that would be, I just think that was the moment where you started to get a sense of his innate bravery. You know, ever since he was born, he's been told that he was a coward and he's not brave and he's never going to achieve anything and he's just going to be a dead weight and a liability to everybody. And that was a moment where, you, for the first time, you see him not have time to remember that and not have time to think himself out of action and he's reacting purely from his heart and from his gut to protect the things that he loves the most. And I think that that was the first inkling in him that there was more under the surface and he is actually brave. And he's just, the only problem is for all his, his life, he's believed that he isn't. So I think he took that moment. He, the fact that he talks about it all the time, the fact that he's always going on about how he killed his White Walker, just says that he, that was an important moment of revelation, both for the audience and for him experiencing it as well. I mean, for, I, I love the fact that he got his moment of glory with the dragon and Scorpion. that whole thing. It was just a joy to be part of. And uh, But then there's some, you know, there's some other, many other wonderful moments that he shared, which were maybe less heroic and more typical Bronn. I think it's difficult to pick because I, honestly, I love all the scenes that I've been able to do in Game of Thrones because they've been so much fun, because he's a fun character. <laughs> um, uh, I love the scenes with Cersei and Jaime because they were just, it was my first day of shooting on season seven. And I was just, I was like, yeah, finally, I get to be rowdy and rude and a badass. But I got to admit, working with the stunt team on the ship on season seven, episode two, Rowley and all of his guys was a dream coming true because I was working with the best stunt people in the world and it was just amazing. Um, I think for Gilly it's probably uh, going to Horn Hill and meeting Sam's family and getting a bit of a makeover and um, and then but then re and then in that context which is so alien to her she has this incredible courage to stand up to Randall Tarly and tell him about himself and I loved performing that scene and I loved that little monologue that she has. And um, I just thought you saw her at her best and you saw her so, so far from her origins in that context as well.